everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Cursed Mountain. In the last episode, we came to Bennett's house after opening our third eye and getting our cool powers to do this and this. Pew! 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 Anyway, oh, and we also got this. I, I think I mentioned the bell, but I'll say it again. We also got this cool bell to see if our uh, brother Frank's still alive. In this episode, we're going to go to Bennett and do that. You'll also notice this room is significantly brighter. I maxed the brightness in-game because I noticed in the recording, after looking at the video again, it's too damn dark! I mean, dark is good, but I want you guys to be able to see what the hell is going on. Okay. Hello again. How are you in this house? There were runes on the door. Oh, well, where are you? Oh jeez, where is he? Watch out! There's no with the compassion which will help heal yourself when hurt. Okay. Well, I wasn't hurt. Okay, I now have six. Six incense sticks. Ghost, get on my level! You're trash! I just started this game and already I'm pwning you! I mean, granted, this first level, they're gonna be comparable, but... I don't know. Maybe, just to me, it seems like they're too... easy. And since I said that, they will now destroy me. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa. There we go, now I got this. That's right, feel the compassion! Feel it. Either these ghosts are real. And your whole worldview just got knocked into a hat. Or there's some kind of high altitude hallucination. Either way, I would just recommend continue fighting them this way. So, Bennett tried for the term. Most of the in an accident. Okay. And hired Frank to go after the term for him. Right. And sure. now he's been scared off by his ghost. So I guess it's time for me to get cracking and find that monastery. Okay. But Bennett was just here. Facing the Yogini. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be pronounced like that, but come on. It looks like it's supposed to be pronounced Italian. The Yogini! Climber's log. 18,000 feet. Approaching the tiny village of Chaku, someone must still be here. Maybe someone who knows how to get to Todd Pa. Maybe there's news about Frank. Okay, maybe. Any particular reason my other my secondary speed is just casual jog? You know, we're looking for a lost brother, and this is very urgent that our brother is missing. But you know, I don't want to run anywhere. That could be dangerous. You know, let's just casual jog everywhere. I hope it doesn't become nightfall by the time I uh, get there, because night on a mountain will be kind of spooky. Because, you know, the ghosts and also the low temperatures and... What the hell am I looking at? Are those floating banners in the wind? Are they tentacles coming out of the ground? No, they don't look like tentacles. They must be banners or something. Right? Yo, ghost! Oh, never mind. He's not gonna let me hit him, is he? Alright, come on, spooky spookerson. Hello? Prayers, spirit, no longer protect. Oh, that's what those were. Mad place. That's ignorance. Cut through ignorance. Cut through illusion. English clearly not first language. Frank Simmons, my brother. Do you know where he is? He, your brother? That outsider? Duh? That outsider? Frank what? Lives above village. Jomo, Menmo. Okay. 
brings me food. <laughs> Very powerful, New Guinea. You Very holy. Okay. Thank you. I'm most grateful. I'll go look for it. Stop. You're not ready. I'm not? Okay. Cut through ignorance. Cut through illusion. Well, I got this magic hand axe. die. Void, not harm, void. So is my axe void magic then? Okay, thank you for the cryptic bullshit. I appreciate it. Who needs a straight answer, right? Wait, what? What was, what was I looking at? This hasn't been here long. Some must still be alive nearby. Prayer spear. Well, it's not doing a good job. The shaman's trying to ward off evil. Well, he did say it wasn't working. Know how to find Todd pa. Yeah. Well, let's go find that shaman then. Funny, I've always thought it was pronounced shaman, but I could be wrong. Am I fighting two ghosts now? Whoop, I missed! I missed! Pew pew, motherfucker! Oh shit. Better evaporate into the nothingness. I mean, if there were two there, I'd be in trouble. But thankfully, I'm only getting attacked 1v1 by these ghosts. I can take them 1v1. You know, maybe it's just me, but I think the fear is kind of evaporated. Because, again, the funny thing about horror games, in my opinion, from, again, the very few that I've played a bunch I've seen. When you give the player a weapon to literally fight off of the fear, the fear gets diminished by a lot. I think I've mentioned this in a bunch of other horror games, too. Uh, was that a... Whatever, not important. Now, granted, you also have to explain to the player why it is they can't fight if you're not going to give them the mechanic to fight. Deal with unfamiliar symbol. Can't break the spell yet. Okay. I don't know if that's sobs or laughs, but getting back to my point. Oh, never mind. Ghost battle. I missed. Oh, maybe I just have to get closer. Excuse me! Ghost man! Are you a helpful ghost, or are you a hindering ghost? Oh, you're a helpful ghost. Well, thank you. I appreciate the assistance. Thank you very much. Um, I will get with you in a moment. I see a bunch of pots that have yet to be smashed. That was an exceptionally delayed smash. Ooh, Pater. Seven. Seven incense sticks. All right, come on, ghost. Lead me to where it is. I'm sorry, what I was smashing pots. Oh, did I need to do that? I was just gonna shoot him. Oh. Hey, I thought you were a friendly ghost! Oh, you have a lot of health, don't you? Whoop. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whew, close call there. It was a little too close and my cursor wasn't on the screen and I was worried. It's been dead a long time. The stench is unbearable. Well, what was the point of that then? I didn't want to harass that poor ghost guy. I was just minding my own business. I thought he was leading me somewhere. Eh. 
Oh look, more ghosts. Oh Jesus, look at them all. What? How rude! Here I am just... Unfamiliar symbol can't break that spell either, I guess, huh? Yeah, no, I can't break that spell. Very well. I will continue on my way, since clearly the ghosts don't want me in there. Whoop! He's going up that way. Am I playing Ghost Hide and Seek? Oh, whoops. Yes. What's up? They're obviously not vegetarians. Oh, a Healy Dew. Well, I don't need a Healy Dew right now. Though I appreciate the fact it's there. Alright, let's go chase after that ghost. What? What? Do? Wait, no, here we go. Yeah, that's right, you better casually get pushed back a little bit. Your incense are mine! Eight. Eight incense sticks. Nine. Nine incense sticks. You know, I'm getting the distinct impression that they're giving me a lot now early game, but at the end of the game I'm going to be screwed if I use them a lot. Okay, this is not a door. This is a lie. Well, is there anywhere else to go? Ah, uh, yes, this is creepy black and white whisper zone. Of course, how silly of me. Alright, well. Did I just come here for no reason then? Oops. We still have plenty of time. That's a Healy Shrine. You know what? It's not like it cost me anything to unlock it just for the sake of unlocking it, right? Oh, do I have to get closer to the thing? Oh no, I can just use all of them, that's right. That's what that ritual I did before was about. Hmm. Oh, you think you're hard enough? Well, your friends certainly weren't. Precious. You can't sneak up on a master ghost ritual guy who just learned how to open his third eye. It's a very long title, I know, but come on. That's what I am. Deserted. Like everything else. Yep. So, I have a serious question. Why are all the places deserted, but there's still like one or two people that are still just sort of chilling on the mountain? Oh, so this was more town. Like, what, are they here specifically for my quest? Did they decide, you know what, I'm gonna stay on this mountain, even though I'm gonna have no one else to talk to. Might. So, I mean, it's possible. 
I can't get through the giant barricade. Ooh. Yeah! I take 11 incense sticks. I'm sure at some point they're going to introduce a big baddie that's going to, like, totally decimate me. But right now, these ghosts are pretty minute. Wait, are those ghosts running? What the hell would make a ghost run away? Well, if I had to hazard a guess, I'd imagine some sort of thing that eats, eats ghosts. Or demons, or whatever. Someone's up there that night. Shaman's tent. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we'll go that way then. I mean, I thought that was our plan initially anyway, so nothing changes. Still heading that way. Closing the door behind you, if that is them. Aha! Sealing ritual. Mingma Yang Zi, disciple of Jomo Minmo, explains a ritual to seal doors and gates. Oh, that's useful. If I need to uh, seal some gates, I'll uh, use the information in this book. Which one's that? Ah, Secret Visions. Sealing Ritual. This ritual protects an entrance from unwanted visitors, hungry ghosts, or fierce demons. The initiated one performs it in front of the entrance using Kartrika and the Kila. Don't have one of those. Reciting the mantra of the gold, uh, the goddess Tara. She seals the entrance, yielding only to one who brings all parts of the seal. Okay, so you gotta perform a ritual every time you want to get in your house if you want to keep it locked away from ghosts? Nothing so desolate as an abandoned home. No, there is not. The Dakini named... Machi Lob Lobdron. She's the founder of Chod. Padmasam Hava, the second Buddha, with his consort, Yeshi So Gil. She reincarnated as Machi Lobdron. Okay. Padmasa Mahava with the Thanka showing empowerment of Child Mandala. Okay. The Wachen Kuk, the cave of greatest ecstasy, in which Padmasa Mahava and Yishid Sogele achieve Chantric Rapture. Incarnation of Machi Labdron as very powerful Lady Demoness. Okay, sure, right. We'll go upstairs after I go through this door. <laughs> symbols in the upper village. I need the seal that opens the, that door. If I could just remember where I've seen those symbols before, maybe the seal will be nearby. Okay. 
Well, I remember I've encountered the symbols. I don't remember where. I guess I'll just go back to the main village and uh, wander around. What do we got up here? Incredibly detailed. Probably the lineage of an important llama. A climber prepares. Frank Simmons describes his stay in the village. Well, might as well uh, take a look. What are you- Ah, Frank's diary! Makes sense. I stay at Mingma's house for days at a time, preparing for the climb by doing some ancient rituals. Bennett insists on this. He seems to fear the mountain somehow. It's rubbish, of course, but it does give me time to acclimate, and Mingma's pretty enough to look at. So what the hell? Locals don't like the idea of Westerners climbing their sacred mountain, but who gives a crap? Brother Mike's kind of a dick. Oh, well, that's not a door I can open, evidently. Another one of those real fake doors. Everybody loves real fake doors. Who doesn't love real fake doors? I'm hoping that's just smoke and not a ghost, because finding a ghost in here does not sound like my cup of tea. Excuse me, pardon me. Off to hunt some symbols, don't you know? Uh, there was none here, right? That was the first house? Yeah, that was the first house. Alright, just gotta wait for the same thing to pop up before I get into the episode. So this might- Actually, no, it's not gonna be a longer episode. We're only 21 minutes in. I don't know why, but it feels like longer when I'm playing this game. Maybe it's how slow Eric moves that makes me feel like it's longer. Oh god, three? One I can handle, but three? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck! Fuck, fuck! Running! Never mind. Whoa, jeez! Ow! Okay, fine! Get back, get back! Y'all don't know me like that! Oh jeez. Okay, running this way! Finally got me. Oh jeez. Come on. Cam camera. Camera. Oh fuck. I might die. Because I can't get the stupid cursor to appear on the thing. Okay, there we go. There we go. No. lights off that it's making it difficult for the sensor bar to see the cursor. Okay. Now it's probably one over there, but I need to go and hurry up and find one of those healy dudes. Because if I encounter more than one ghost again, I'm in trouble. I was hot shit when it was only one ghost, but three ghosts? Nuh-uh! Inset sticks now. Ah, crap. I was hoping for a full heal, but I guess this is fine. Right, I need to remember the cursing thing. Well, let's see. I think there was one over this way. Oh. 
Oh, whoops. That was the nunchuck, wasn't it? Okay, hang on. If I could just... If you could just... Just... And I need to recalibrate this. Okay, so now... There we go. Seal number one broke. I help you? No? Okay, good. She was just staring, because I did come into... I did come into the ghost's home. Kind of barged in after breaking the seal. Yeah, there's nothing desolate. Abandoned home. You got that. Huh? No one left to eat all that now. Except for the bugs, evidently. No injuries that I can see. Did he die from fright? Who did, did he die from fright? Oh! Him! I don't know, maybe he died of a heart attack. Well, let's, uh, let's go up. Oh, jeez! You got me. You got me. I wasn't expecting it. I should have expected it. Why I didn't I do not know? Oh god, I got stuck on the trail. Where are you? I have a Kartrika and I know how to use it! So you best step off, lady or mat sir or madam. Cleansing the air. A housewife purifies her home. Really? That secret vision? No, wrong one. I guess that's secret vision. In times like this, when evil roams the land, we must cleanse the air so demons cannot enter the house. We recite the mantra of the lotus. We light the incense in the bowl. And as the holy smoke spreads throughout the house, the air is cleansed of all evil, and unclean phantoms must remain outside. Okay. Sure. As you do. Oh, looks like we've got a few things in here. A Makala seal fragment. Fragment of a seal bearing the mark of Mahakala. Find the remaining seal fragments. We can't do that. Unless I get bombarded by ghosts. That's right back off. were hard before. Well, no, you weren't. The ghosts! You and your ghost buddies were too fast, too fast! Got it. As I was trying to say, hey, you and your ghost buddies were hard when I had to fight more than one of you at a time, but I only had to fight one. Then it says, don't open the treasure. Diary note written by Frank. Let's take a gander at that then, shall we? Then it won't tell me what the treasure is. Just that I can't open it. He says he'll know if I do. And it's worth an extra 50000 to me if I bring it down intact. That works for me. I don't really need some Howard Carter freak and be the first to gaze on the face of King Tut or whatever. Collectors. What idiots. Then I must have money out the yin yang. Yin yang? Get it? <laughs> Sometimes I crack myself up. It wasn't that funny. The yin and yang symbol, I think, is Japan. It has nothing to do with Tibet or this. Yeah, they're making Frank out to be this dick. Like this guy who's like, I mean, he's your brother, so you gotta look for him, but from what I've seen, he's just kind of a giant asshole from the very few pages of his diary. Also, shouldn't it be a journal? I don't know, I've heard guys keep journals, girls keep diaries, but what the hell do I know? I've never kept one or the other. Where was the door out of here again? Oh, I just noticed that giant streak of blood on the wall. Pleasant, wait. Oh. 
I found the door. Oh good, saving. And I see the next one too, I believe. What are we on? 30 minutes in? Y you know what? I think we'll end this episode here. The next one will continue breaking those seals, getting more intel, and trying to get to the shaman's house. See you guys then.